Hello, all. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for this uh, scratchy uh, audio. Um, I am running a Ubuntu 12.04 uh, Beta 2, which should be out in about, what, 10 days or so? Uh, and I've been trying to fix it, but I'm not sure what's wrong. Um, but I hope it's acceptable enough for you to listen. And again, I apologize. So the reason for this video, well, um, when I upgraded my system last year, I went with an AMD 6 core, uh, the 1090T processor, AMD, and an AMD graphics card, uh, 6870. Uh, and last year about this time, GNOME 3 Shell was released, and that's what I'm running on top of Ubuntu right now is GNOME Shell 3 and when I did try it a, a few months ago in uh, different distros as well as in Ubuntu uh, it was unacceptable for an ATI user to try for for me anyway um, I don't know if it, this is um, affects all graphics cards or not or or whatever because we know the drivers that you know the newer the, the card the more proprietary your drivers are probably going to be which they are um, but I'm happy to say it's working great um, and the exception of uh, being a beta um, as an operating system it's it's running very well uh, I'm kind of torn between the uh, unity interface and this uh, I like I kind of like both of them in some ways um, so what I did is uh, one of the websites I f frequent for some great uh, utilities and stuff so open Firefox. I'm going to web up. It's web update, but it's spelt uh, web up um, web and then UDP UPD8. Sorry. And they have a search search thing. There's GNOME shell, but you can search just a shell extent. Oh boy, nice man. Think that yeah, it is official uh, GNOME shell extensions uh, PPA repository. Let's wait for this to finish. And I've already done this, but you just uh, open a terminal and you type in sudo apt-get repository PPA web update team slash GNOME 3 and uh, get, get update. You can copy and paste these in the terminal, and then you get the shell extensions. Uh, to install the weather shell extension, do this, it's system monitor, etc, etc, etc. Media player, I don't know if I have. So what you need um, to enable the extensions, you'll need GNOME Tweak Tool, which is advanced settings. And uh, I've already did some customization on my uh, favorites menu. And there it is there, advanced settings. So we'll open that up, drag it over. Shell extensions. Install. Well, I don't have a package download, so I just installed these from the web, from the terminal. Um, some of them I d I'm not familiar with, but the one I really like is the system monitor extension, which is on, which is uh, right here. So, yeah, okay. So minimize, minimize, and CPU, memory, and network. And if you click on it, it shows you uh, CPU usage right now. Um, how much memory? I have 12 gigs installed. Swap my small swap file. It's not being used. Uh, temperatures not bad. I do have a onboard thermal. Um, what do you call those? Cooler, uh, but it's up a little bit. And then it gives you like a ring chart. And also go to preferences and uh, system monitor itself. And I thought that was really neat. I like it anyway. And we'll go back to uh, blah blah blah. <laughs> Another one you may uh, be interested in is the dock extension. It just mirrors on the right side. As you just see, it just flew by. So instead of having going to here, oops, ah, you can go here. And for some reason, it I f it feels like it's lagging up for some reason. Anyway, so um, you can arrange these as well. I don't know if you can arrange them from the dock. No. 
but I guess whatever you do here so uh, I'll put this description in, in the comments or whatever section close this so like I said uh, whatever you do on the left side is mirrored on the right side so uh, let's look for uh, I think I have synaptic SN yeah so you can either right click and say uh, open a new window or add to favorites or you can just take it and drag it over and you can also rearrange or you can also throw it in the bin and it says it gives a little uh, pop-up description some not synaptic uh, package manager and there's a windows up windows update excuse me I'm sorry I didn't mean to say that update manager there's software center and then it should have been yep it's reflected on the uh, right side okay so that makes it a little easier you know either way like let's, let's launch software center and you see here I should also mention, I'll go back to uh, advanced settings. Another one you can use is application extension. So if I turn that on, minimize this. You have this little uh, classic GNOME thing here, and you have your applications in a menu sort of like this. Like It looks like it's going to. Um, the point is it would go out, but you have to actually click on it. And it scrolls as well. So it's, it's you know, useful if you like the traditional tree sort of way of doing things. Um, I, it doesn't, I don't care. So let me go back to this. And you just, um, off, and it's gone. Um, some of these I don't know. Uh, but I've just been messing around with a couple of them so anyway visit that site it's well worth it they have a lot of great tips if you haven't been there before so close this uh, software center it's you know in open shot oh I thought they had to pay for that I like, huh wait <laughs> uh, yeah I'll get Inkscape so it's um, blah 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 32 megabytes to install so install and I like this uh, authentication screen it's that that's really neat okay so we'll let that install we'll just minimize that and that's about all I have open um, now about GNOME shell I think 3.5 has been released and this version is Oops, let's open a new, I think it's, there we go, another terminal. Uh, no, shell, I think it's a 3.4 is on this. On the, It's been rumored that it would make it, and uh, yeah, it's 3.4 in on Ubuntu 12. So I guess they made what uh, they were shooting for. Um, and if I go back to this web update site, uh, if you just go to GNOME Shell, there's a whole bunch of uh, things like themes, and yeah, 3.4, so it is, okay, okay, I was wrong, sorry about that, I'm glad I checked, 3.4 live CD, that would be interesting to check out. I don't know what's uh, changed. I should read up on that. And yeah, okay, okay. Been released. Yes. So yeah, it, it's uh, confirming what I already said. Okay. So okay, uh, da -da -da -da, is this done yet? Yeah, these take a while. Okay, uh, I think that's about it for this. It's like, you know, if you have an AMD uh, graphics card and you use uh, GNOME Shell, GNOME 3, uh, I guess there's not as many problems. But um, I was just surprised to see this and kind of happy because now I can try this out. And 
down below you have uh, some indicators here uh, the weather indicator and uh, the quake terminal which you saw running and yeah oh it's installing okay so uh, I've used up enough of your time already and uh, we'll switch to the other window and as always thank you so much for watching and I, again I apologize for the uh, a terrible audio. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it right now. Okay, so thanks again. Take care and uh, bye for now.